Hey guys, it's Pickle here. Why'd you make me do that? Anyway, <laughs> today I'm going to be training and reading your assumptions. So I asked you in my most recent video to give me your assumptions and I'll be reading them now. Woo! Fun fact, I actually already recorded this whole video, but I had to do something halfway through. And when I came back to record the second half, I didn't go and turn my microphone back on. So that footage was useless. So we're just gonna redo it. It's completely fine. I don't, oh my gosh, I need stable care. I am a mess. I just logged on and recorded the intro. And I j they did the pony champ right before I logged off. So I think that's why I was in Fort Pinta. I don't really remember though. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> okay. Perfect. Stable care. Delicious. The last time I did this, I used a random number generator to decide which horse I was going to be riding or training. So I'm going to do that again. Why are none of my horses... Hello? Why the heck are none of my horses in their stalls? What? Anyway, so, okay. <laughs> I guess this makes it easier. I don't know. But, sort by level. Okay, so there are 34 horses that I have to train. So, I'm gonna grab my phone. And I'm gonna get a random number generator. The max being 34. And then, we click generate three times. 23! Okay, let's see. No. <laughs> what? So, fun fact. The last time I recorded this, when I recorded this the first time, I did the same thing. And Pippi was the horse I got. And now, Pippi is the horse I got this time too. What the actual heck? Okay, no. I'm I'm trying that again. I am trying that again. Okay. Can I generate it three times? Three. Okay. Number three. One, two, three. Oh, okay. This is fine. This is Melody. We can ride Melody. Melody's cute. Okay, so the first assumption is from Mira Emberharth, and she says, My assumptions. You aren't actually a pickle. You're a cucumber. Lol, that was dumb. Anyway, I like this video. First of all, uh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Second of all... How did you know? Okay, the next assumption is from Shadowflight, and she says, You think that one day you'll become super famous because you will, lol. And then she says... Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm not the only one to admire the horses run while I'm racing. The camera angle be like... Oh, you made me feel a jump! Shadow, what the heck? No, you bullying me. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, I don't really think I'm going to become super famous. I don't really care whether or not I become super famous, honestly. But you can only become like, so famous, because the Star Stable community is a very small community compared to other things, like, there's only so far you can get just playing Star Stable, uh, but among the Star Stable community, no, I don't really think so. My goal is a thousand, because that's when you get the community tab, and the community tab is, it just makes it 
easier to interact with your audience and stuff, so I'd like to get that. And uh, thanks for exposing me for my camera angles. But the main reason I do that is because I have a tendency to have my cursor in the way. And whenever I see the cursor, I just can't look away from it. And it bothers me. So I do that so I don't see the cursor. <laughs> but thank you for saying that I'll become super famous. I appreciate that. I just whacked my microphone. I hope you didn't hear that. The next assumption is from Nellie Coyote Burn, and she says, You wish to have a fam, teehee. You will get it. I believe you will if you put your mind to it. So that's an interesting question. It's pretty vague, I guess, but if you mean community-wise on YouTube, like a pickle family, a little turkey nugget family, yes. I mean, I already kind of do, but I won't say no to subscribers, obviously, but I don't know. I don't really mind. If you mean, I'm going to assume you meant like a turkey nugget family because a real family, like starting my own family and having kids and stuff is really random of a question, so I'm just going to assume it was YouTube related, so I say, yeah, I'd like a little YouTube family. I've already got one, honestly, but yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I've been up for sev several hours, and yet I'm still tired. I don't get it. Okay, so the next assumption is from Aurora Meadowhoof, and she says, Assumption, you ride horses IRL. Yes, it is correct. Uh, those of you who have been with my channel from the very, very start, uh, First off, I apologize because my old videos were such trash. My first video was just my intro, and my intro was freaking disgusting. And the second one was just, oh my gosh, do the ponies turn like really fast, or is that just me? Maybe it's because I'm used to the American Quarter Horse, which is like really chunky and thick. I don't know. Anyway. And the second video was just me walking off the Veildale dock with my trackener. Uh, yeah, that was fun. But I did... I have spoken about writing IRL a couple times. Uh, and those who have been with my channel for a long time... Not a long time, because I've only been doing YouTube for a year, but for a while... Uh, will know that I do ride horses IRL. I uploaded a video with my scariest horse riding experiences and if you've ever have had a conversation with me on SSO I might have mentioned it uh but yes I do I have been riding for a very long time over much longer than I've been playing Star Stable horses have always been my obsession since like kindergarten um but yeah I have been riding horses for a long time and I've had bad experiences, good experiences. It's it's great. I do dressage riding. I used to do hunter. However, I don't really like jumping very much. Uh, jumping's really cool, but it makes me nervous, and there's no point in doing something that makes me uncomfortable. So, I, I actually recently got into dressage, but I am still trash at it because of the whole pandemic thing. I wasn't- I haven't been able to go to the stables and ride, so yeah, I have barely started, and I really hope to get back there soon because riding is just so much fun, and I love the stable that I ride at. It's great. The next assumption is from- or the next assumptions are from Adeline Overtop, and she says, My assumptions. You wish you had more star coins. You don't like the old models. You are a dog person, and you love horses IRL. Sorry for so many. Okay, this is what happens when you try to read assumptions when training. <laughs> you crash into everything. Anyway, uh, so the first one, you wish you had more star coins. 
Very much so. I'm really broke. Uh, and I have no self-control in Star Stable. I can't help myself from buying horses and stuff so the second I can afford something like buy 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 it's it's a it's a very bad habit and I'm trying to break myself out of it and I'm gonna try not to spend any star coins until December where I'll allow myself to buy a horse and some clothes for Christmas and maybe even buy some star coins then because as is Christmas but after that, I'm gonna try to save as long as I can. I did the math, and if you save up for a whole year, you get a little over 5,000 star coins, which would be nice. I know of people that are so insanely good at saving, like this one person, I forget what their name was, but they had 80,000 star coins. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, <laughs> you don't like the old models, so that's, that's kind of interesting. I know I definitely prefer I definitely prefer the new models. The new models are much better done and they're much cuter. However, I don't dislike the old models, meaning the old old models. The cardboard cutout horses, I actually quite like them. And while the new Yorvik Warmbloods are adorable and I really like them, uh excluding the fact that the paints are mirrored. I uh, really miss the old starter horses. Like, I'm tempted to buy an old model Andalusian just because I like the model so much, and I like riding Pippi, although... I mean, Pippi, I, she wouldn't be my first choice, but I don't mind riding her because I like the old animations. But... That's the old, old animations. I really dislike the llama neck versions. Those are just the starter horses, the old starter horses with ugly necks and weird proportions. So yeah, I don't like those horses. I do like older model horses though. I really like the Morgans. The Morgans were one of my favorite horse breeds for a while. <clears throat> They're not anymore, but... My top three are all newer models now, but I really like the Morgans. They are definitely in my top five horse breeds, and literally every single coat variation is on my uh, horse wish list. I really like SSO to update them because I love the horses, and I'd love to see what they could do if they implemented their new style into them, but a part of me is scared that they're either gonna A, make it into something I don't like, or B, after they update them, remove the old model horses like they did with the fjords, and then I'd have to buy a ton of star coins so that I could afford to buy them all. Although I was quite disappointed when I went to the horse market that one time where, and found out they didn't lower the Morgan's price because like, oh yeah, they lowered the Morgan's price, I can go and buy a bunch of them. And they didn't. It's, they're still 700 star coins. <laughs> you are a dog person and you love horses IRL. So yes, I'm a very animal loving person, I'd say. I'm not like a huge, oh my gosh, I have to have all these pets and stuff. But I think animals are adorable and I love them. And when I pe see people hurting animals, it makes me sad. I have a dog. His name is Odin and he is a black lab he's not mixed he's just a black lab he is seven months old and he is the cutest puppy in the world i will put a picture of him on screen uh i don't know if we have any newer pictures so it might be a little bit outdated and it might not be as big as he is now because he is big he is seven months old and he's over 75 pounds i believe oh my gosh i missed the checkpoint how did I miss that checkpoint? I feel like I went straight through the middle of that jump, but oh well. But yeah, I I just love him so much. Uh oh, my my mouse got stuck. This is not good. My mouse got stuck on on my recording. Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. Help! Help! <laughs> uh oh. This is not good. And you love horses IRL? Yes, very much so. Like I mentioned before, I 
horses have always been a big part of my life. I love riding them. I love just being around them. So, uh, yeah. And don't apologize for giving so many. I don't mind at all. I am working on... Oh, no. I can't move my mouse to... I have a touch screen, but it's not working. Oh, no. Uh-oh, stinky. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn off the recording real quick. <laughs> okay, so now it's fixed. That's better. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, so... Level four, look at us go, Melody. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I have always... No, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about... Okay, so I've been working on a tutorial-ish on how I make my videos, because I know a lot of you were asking a while ago how to... how I edit my videos and what I use to edit, and I don't think it's in the description of my videos anymore, but it, it should be... Actually, no, it is in the description of my videos, but it's not in the About tab anymore, I don't think. Um, anyway... <sighs> <laughs> I am planning on making a two-parter on how I record and edit my videos, so if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to let me know. Uh, and yeah, uh, I use HitFilm Express 12, although I know they came out very recently with a HitFilm Express 15, but I'm too lazy to download that version, so I'm just gonna stick with 12. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, it's a really, it's completely free, but there are add-ons to use, in case any of you are wondering. I know I've said this before to some of you who are looking for free editors, and I believe it only works on Windows computers, but it could I could be wrong. It could also work on Mac. Uh, and yeah, it's very confusing at first, but after you get used to it, it's really simple. And there's just, like, it's very, I don't know, there's... It's a pattern, and once you learn how to do the basics, you learn how to do everything, basically. And they have plenty of tutorials on YouTube and on their homepage as articles. So, yeah. Anyway, I got off topic. Fur Grove Stars says, My assumption you started as Stoke because of a friend. No, actually. This is... I'm going to get off on a tangent here, so sorry about that. I was looking up horse games, and usually you just get, like, the scratch games and, like, the... Flash games and all of that stuff, but then I found Star Stable and I was like, whoa, this looks cool. So I was much younger at the time, so I asked my parents if I could get it, and they were like, sure. And I started the, I made the account of Bella Fish River. This was five years ago, and I was very frustrated because <clears throat> I, all the cute names were taken. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna choose something that I know no one else would. Hello. Okay, that was my mom. So I'm just gonna bring me home sushi. I love sushi. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. They were like, okay, sure. And so yeah, I started Bella Fish River and I was obsessed. Every Saturday morning, I'd wake up at 6.30 in the morning and play Star Stable. <laughs> and I had so much fun. But then I got to level five and I was sad. And I kind of, I just kind of ran around Fort Pinta and Moreland and bought things with shillings. So that was great. But eventually my computer, it was a really old computer that I was using. It was like my mom's old computer. And it was really laggy and, oh my gosh, again. And I think it got a virus because weird things kept popping up. So yeah, I stopped playing Star Stable because it was too much for that to handle. But then I got a new computer, my beloved Lenovo computer. And I forgot all about Bella Fish River. Like I forgot all the login information and everything. So I just made a new account, which is Finna Star Wolf, which is the one I play on now. And I had a lot of fun. I got to level five though. And then I did the same thing I did before, kind of run around. And then there was a code for seven days for Star Rider and I ate that up. I stuck to that, like, uh, a, like, a mouse to cheese, which is a very interesting metaphor to use because I stick to cheese like a mouse on cheese. I'm getting off topic once again, but you know what, it's fine. So, I played a lot, and I had a whale of a time, and then it was my last day of the Star Rider, and my mom came into my room while I was riding from, uh, Silverglade Village to Veildale. I remember that vividly. I was riding from Silverglade to Veildale on my Morgan horse. Actually, no, I didn't have a Morgan yet. I bought Morgan, I bought Star when I got Lifetime. Anyway, on my starter horse, my mother walked in and she said, are you going to play this game for a long time? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I promise I'll play it forever and ever. She's like, okay. And so she went and she bought me Lifetime, like a great mom. And yeah, look at us now. 
three and a half years later, or no, not three and a half, five years later, still playing the game. So you made, you made a good choice. My dad came in recently, actually, and he was like, I remember when you first started to play that game, you're like, I promise, I'll play it forever. And I, I have been playing it for a lot longer than he thought I would. So, yeah. That was like a six minute long rant. So, uh, for Grove Stars, that's your fault. <laughs> oh, I need to catch my breath after that. Whew. It's like the most activity I've gotten in five months. I'll drink some water and hopefully not spill it over my all over myself. Okay. Anyway, actually, I don't feel like doing this race. I don't want to do these races. I'm going to go to Moreland. Or, no, I'm going to go to Starshine Ranch because Starshine Ranch gives you a lot of XP. I really like these races and I like how they make it so you turn faster for these races because, you know, Marley's barrel racing I hate, but this barrel racing I really like. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so next assumption, and I think this is the final assumption for today's video, is from Aurora Meadowhoof, and she says, Assumption, you're super nice. Oh wait, that's not an assumption, it's facts. Aurora, you're too nice. How are you so kind? What the actual heck? Oh, oh no, oh no. Ah, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going out of control. Oh no. But thank you so much. Aurora. You're awesome. Okay, hold on. Let me... <clears throat> My time on this is horrendous. Yikes. But yeah, thank you so much, Aurora. I can't get over how nice that was. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> so I will see you in the next video. Bye.